Hey guys, what's up? Always Sonic back here. And uh, sorry for not posting as of late. But honestly, I, just, I, I, don't, I honestly just haven't really been feeling it. Catapult deck is open. Mobile that, 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 that volume's kind of nice, I think. That volume's kind of nice to turn down. It's just a bit. Yeah, I haven't really been feeling it recently. I haven't been really through making videos. I haven't really been feeling uh, streaming, really. So. Yeah, there, there are some changes that are going to be happening, mainly the, the whole quitting the whole second job thing didn't quite work out, so we're back on my bullshit trying and attempting uh, basically to make some money and go back to school. That's essentially what's going on here. Anyway, this is the gun tank on Arctic Base, probably the worst possible map you can play it on. But I've been grinding out, um, basically raid matches, and I've been finding this is actually a legitimately good mobile suit on this map. This is a 400 game. This is important to say. There aren't very many raids at 400 that could really handle the way, the, 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 the degenerate way you're expected to play this time. I am surprised that just deleted a third of his health in a single shot. Gun tank is a special down. suit. Well, it's special in that, well, A, it's a tank. Its ground mobility is absolute and utter dog shit. <laughs> this thing moves about as well as a dead torch in the winter time, frozen suit. under the water. This thing is all, as abs mobility is absolutely awful as you would expect. Its survivability is not important. Because it can't get away from anything, it doesn't have any kind of stun protection, no maneuver arm, no dodge roll, obviously. So, its mobility honestly doesn't really... So, it's sorry, its armor honestly is, in my opinion, completely irrelevant. But what makes it special are these guns, these 120mm cannons. I don't know if it's the same kind of armament the Zaku for the Zaku for machine gun is. <laughs> I just thought about that. Anyway. Let me make sure everything's not stupid. Okay, we're still good. Anyway, what makes these guns special is that hit, they have an effective range of 750 meters. What this means is you can fire, at least on our base, you have, you can fire from all the way back here and dominate over half of the map. And you can really, 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 well, obviously really good. I need to pay attention to that guy, that is the Dom Heavy, and he is that, he's going to absolutely just melt everyone on my team. You know how I, you guys, you guys hear me, but you have, you guys know I have my say. The best sniper for, the best counter for a sniper is another sniper, yes. And guess what the team lacks. To be fair, Arctic Base is usually a map where you Supporting do not need incoming. a support Evacuate type. As a matter of fact, in, Enemy mobile suit is down. as far as that go, in later ranks, like, basically, 550 and above, so, yeah, incoming. about uh, yeah, about 550 and above. Hell, even probably even 500. As a matter of fact, it's more effective target. not to carry a, not to run a support than to run a support. Like I said, I'm making that guy a special friend. They have a support type, but they do not have a sniper. And that's another support type that is the gym sniper custom, but obviously it doesn't have a rifle, so it cannot challenge me at range. He's gonna take that's gonna snipe that kill real quick. And the raids obviously can't get close to me. Essentially the plan, how you're supposed to play this thing. You need you need tanks need team support in order to work because they are almost completely incapable of defending themselves in close quarters. Essentially what you're supposed to do in Arctic base is you gain the lead, and then your team plays extremely defensively, never ever exploring beyond halfway across the map. Why do you do that? This is you force the enemy to approach you because they're the ones who have the deficit. They they have to attack or they lose. So all you need to do is funnel them, basically funnel them into a kill zone. LA has destroyed an enemy mobile suit. They come towards you. You shoot them when they come into range. An unit has it's an been destroyed. it's a defensive beast. And all your friendlies need to do is make sure you don't die. Essentially, that's what's going on here. The team doesn't have the range to challenge. Doesn't have the range to challenge me. Then most things really don't. Like a counter sniper would be beautiful on this kind of map. 
if they could like take that i guess let's pause it here if they could take like this section here like be on this bridge or even under the bridge like this would be the perfect place to start sniping me from but nothing has the kind of range to really challenge me like that and of course they have a raid but the raid has to go through all of my teammates and that's kind of what i believe is the fundamental issue with a game like this that expects you to counter a sniper with a shotgun that's, I'll tell you right now, that's not how it's done in real life, and you're seeing exactly the reason why right here. The best sniper for a sniper is another sniper. Plain and simple. It's one of like the fundamental rules of combat. It's like high ground always, is always best to have, right? Doesn't matter what shooter game you're in. It's, it's, it's kind of the same deal here. Enemy soldier eliminated. Yeah. It's all them. Yeah, they see that they're not going to win unless they do something, so no one else is really interested in, you know, shooting the pilot, so I'm going to go ahead and do it, and I just roll my way back up here. Because these guys cannot stop me. And this is kind of a loss at preview. They just don't have the tools necessary in order to break this. I wrong, we have two snipers on the team, being the... Then Sniper 2 White Bingo, and me. So they really have to, like... What they would have to do in a situation like this is see if they can get, like, one guy all alone, bum rush him, and then use that to break through and kill the two of us. Well, me and number two. Two minutes left in the mission. That's what they would have to do. Bases are now more valuable for this and like I said, it's just that at 400, there just aren't many things that can stop Enemy a play like this. Is this is down. actually kind of reliable. As a matter of fact, I have another game that I saved of the enemy team Enemy's trying to do team. this to us. And it didn't work out. <laughs> because I was the raid. And granted, I was not the best raid for the... I mean, you'll see. Matter of fact, this might be a double feature. And it's probably dope because I'm tired as it's really late at night and my phone doesn't have that much battery. So this is what we're doing. If you guys like what you're seeing so far, remember to like and subscribe. Help the channel out. Help the channel out. I need to get, need to get back to doing stuff before I see him more. What he should have... So, he knows that I can see him. What he should have done is gotten the hell up out of there. I'm really surprised I did not kill. I'm really surprised none of this is killing. That did the job. Now I go for all my reloads. They have 60 seconds left. There's no possible way for them to win this period. This, this is nothing but degenerate gun tank play. An allied unit has been destroyed. And that's also kind of saying you play to the advantages of your team, right? You look at your team preview. And that'll decide not only what you play, but how you play. You see a gun tank on your team. You see... The gym sniper goes, you, you know immediately that you're playing defense because you can Ally unload so much damage if you're just left unmolested. With team, with team support, this thing has a really, really high DPM. Enemy mobile suit is down. You can get a lot of damage off if you're just left. Well, granted, so can literally anything else, but the gun tank's, well, advantage is absurd range. Supporting fire incoming. Evacuate the second best range in the game, second to the gym sniper 2 75mm, not shocking. Same time with the new meter rifle. Long range supporting fire incoming. I literally don't think there's anything you need with higher range than that. That thing has 800 meters, by the way, just has 750. We won. You know, I see. And look at this. I am actually a little bit surprised that the stealth managed to do so well. Because the worst possible thing you can do fighting a lineup like this is try to come in onesies, twosies. You're just going to get... If you make it beyond halfway across the map, we're just going to cut you down. Any closer, and these guys are going to cut you down. All right. Worst thing you can do is fight onesies, twosies. Worst possible play. Oh, crap to him. See what I mean? 100,000 100, damage in a 400 game is not bad at all, and it's only a hit number two. This thing's... and nine kills? Nine kills? This thing's DPM is good. If you can keep your gun tank protected in an advantageous position, like on top of that, well, hill, I suppose. 
You can do so much work. You have to play super defensively. But you mold your play style to the tools you have available. You're right. You, you don't try bum rushing. Like these guys knew what they were doing. They didn't really, you know, expand farther than we were able to cover them. So this is massive credit to these guys for seeing what was going on, responding to it properly, all that good stuff. And this wasn't just a, you know me carrying the team. Obviously, this guy, absolutely, this Kirishima guy, absolutely just tore the enemy team apart. Yeah, this guy, he couldn't do anything. He could, he didn't have the range, and he couldn't get close. That's not his fault. I'm sure his team was like spamming technical support attacks. Blah, 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 blah. He couldn't do anything. There's like no suit F400 that can do something besides the Zeta, but the Zeta has to get really close in order to make that work. Yes, it has an anti-sniper, but I have 750 range, he has 400. The team can handle that. All of our weapons... These two have weapons be that can fire from beyond uh, 450 meters. These guys don't need to. They can just get close and demolish them from, you know, up close. So, anyway, I'll leave it at that. I will leave it at that. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you like what you saw, remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you next time. I'm tired. No. Ah.